What's up guys, Jeremiah here from Babylon Backyard. In this video, we're going to cover how to move large boulders when you can't get heavy equipment into a space. This space here is just kind of a catch-all for anything that I don't want in the rest of the yard. So I'm going to make it a useful space now and we're going to get it all cleaned up. We're going to be building a greenhouse here. So what you're going to need for moving these boulders is a pretty big come along like this one or a winch. You'll also need some straps. So my straps are capable of these weights, which is plenty bigger than whatever we needed for these rocks. The first rock I'm going to move is this big one here. I'd like to keep it just in this position because it's got a nice big flat seating or tabletop to it. We'll show you how to move it up and over this concrete slab and into location over here. So I've got my strap choked around this tree over here and when I'm choking it's at 6,000 pounds. My come along will be hooked up to the strap on this side. Now I'm strapping the other side of this rock. These rocks have kind of settled into the dirt over here from the rain. Um, so they are a little bit recessed into the ground. I have to get them up and out of that. So I'm going to choke this rock up high right now. And then I'll hook my come along to the strap on both sides and I'll start pulling it out. See how far that thing has been coming out of the ground? So what I'm going to do because I don't want it to flip over is I'm going to rock it and try to get it to lift up and out of this hole. It's way too big for me to move normally but with the rock pulled up out of there it's at a tipping point where I can rock it back and forth. So every time I wiggle this thing around it's coming up a little bit higher out of this hole. Sure you watch that rock closely you don't want it to tip over and that hole is really close now what i'm going to do is try to release it just slightly and adjust the strap to a lower setting down on the rock so that i can pull the weight of the rock across the ground now instead of trying to pull the top of the rock which is was tipping it which i had to do to get it up out of that hole that was no way i was going to be pulling it straight from the lower setting on this rock. I've got to get it up over this concrete slab too so it's going to be a little tricky to rock it until it's safely above the slab. Okay I'm going to adjust the strap down just a little lower and try this again. Finally I got it over that concrete slab, it should be easy sailing from here. I am in a bit of a bind, I'm going to get stuck between these two rocks, I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to have to do is use a rock higher and wedge it away so that it doesn't pinch my strap in here. That one is good, it's in location. I'll move to the next rock. So the next rock, I'm gonna move right over to this location and then I've got another one here that I'll move over next to it. This isn't as big of a rock and it's nice and wide and low weight so it should just glide across the ground pretty easily without having any tipping problems.
Moving boulders is a little like playing golf. You have to know how that ball's gonna play. Uh, except for in moving boulders, the balls are not round and they're way heavier than a golf ball and it's not such a fair way. Alright, on to this next one. It's going to be a little bit more tricky because of the tree being in the way here. So I've got to get it to come up and away from that tree. So I'm going to pull it up and uh, wedge something underneath of it so that I can get a better strapping on it so that I can lift it and tip it over. Now when I release it, it shouldn't fall all the way back down into the hole it was in. Now I'll get a better grip around this thing to tip it upward. I'm going to use a rock to wedge between the tree here so I can get a different hold on this rock. Now I've got the center of it, I can move it wherever I want. Next we've got a pretty large rock that I've got to move all the way across to the same area that these last three were at. So I'm tipping this one up and out of here. Uh, whoops. I probably should have been thinking a little bit more there. I just uh, smashed my strap so this is not what you want to do you do not want a situation where your strap is under your rock because it's going to be really difficult to get out i'll use the come along just like i've been using to pull the rocks i'll just be using it to try to pull the strap from out from under the rocks but it's not good for your strap so it can cause damage <laughs> pretty good, it's not too bad. I've seen way worse fraying and once they start fraying you don't want to be using them. So we'll get situated on this rock again, only now it's flipped over upside down so the flat side is against the ground. Last one. This one's a beast of a rock too. This strap is 10 foot length so that means that this rock has a 10 foot circumference. Not a small rock at all. Already I can feel the difference in moving this rock. The requirements for my strength is much greater for trying to get this thing moved. 
I've got a situation over here where this rock is about to run into a little bit of a uh, raise in the ground and I won't do so well if I run into that so I'm going to use a shovel to smooth out the ground where the rock is moving across so that I don't have to try to move the earth. Success! I was able to move it. My son and his friend showed up and they decided to show me that it wasn't so much work, so... Well, that didn't last very long. Bummer. All right guys, that does it for this video. Hopefully this helped you figure out how to move your big rocks if you need to move some. Next thing we're going to do is get in here and start putting in our foundation or the greenhouse that's gonna go in this location. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss cool videos like these. See you in the next video.